let's talk a little bit about, you know, when, when you eventually are replaced as head of talent relations by Johnny Ace, that means that Johnny Ace is now going to step into your spot in helping handle some of these developmental relationships too. Could you see the writing on the wall that maybe Johnny Ace, and Jim Cornette weren't going to see eye to eye all the time? Oh yeah. That was easy. Yeah. That was, that wasn't hard, you know? And of course a, a new guy gets a job. Uh, he wants to put his own spin on it, his own feel. And, uh, and, and, and I never had any problem trusting Cornette. I didn't always agree with him to be perfectly honest. Uh, but that's okay too. Uh, we've known each other for, you know, God almighty since, since the mid eighties. And, uh, and even though I know he's a little crazy, but so am I, uh, you know, that was what it was. I never, I never, I had a hard time as time went on trusting Laurenitis. And, uh, that's sad to say, but that's how it works. And I hired him. I gave him a job when he needed it. And then I got, uh, he, I don't think he treated me quite right. Again, he was one to show Vince. He's a better manager than Jr. and, uh, all these things. And so now his, his ass is without a job and, and he deserves the goddamn misery that he's living, uh, that I perceive that he's living. Uh, and I didn't like how he treated me. So, uh, but this is not about me. This is about the developmental program, but I, I don't, I, I, I started losing a lot of confidence in him. Johnny just wanted to be sure he was seen for, with Vince. Uh, you know, he's a good looking kid, you know, uh, all that stuff. And, uh, he hadn't had Bell's palsy like I had. He had a leg up on his look. Vince likes looks, which is always astonishing to me. How the hell that, uh, I was on, I was on the air that long, 26 years with a less than advantageous look. And it's one of the reasons I say is because None of you bastards are going to outwork me. Right. I'm going to be the best at what I do in the business. That was always my goal. It's still my goal every week. Uh, but that's, that's the competitiveness in me. But yeah, I, I just, I, Ty Bailey was a, seemed like a decent guy. He was benign. He, 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 uh, he had been neutered and spoon fed to what to say and how to look and all those things. So, uh, I'll say this, Lauren, I just played the, played the game, played it well. And, uh, but I, I didn't appreciate it. I don't think he treated the talent as fairly. He had agendas and I'm not saying I didn't ever have an agenda as be lying, but I didn't have as many as he did in my opinion. So, you know, it was just, again, politics, man. Politics. Help, me, help me understand when you say he had agendas, what does that mean? Well, he had an agenda that he wanted to. He's going to placate Vince. Yeah. I want to placate Vince too. So I'm not saying I was different. I just handled it differently. Right. Uh, I made decisions without Vince's. I didn't have to get in a situation where I'm going to have to. Okay. Everything that get o everything. Okay. Through the, through the old man, he trusted me. I don't know that Vince ever really truly trusted Lauren Itis, and we've kind of seen how that relationship has worked out and evolved. I don't want to be in that position. Uh, it was just, it's not unhealthy for relationships, families, the company. And so you see how it ended kind of ended the way many of us thought it might. So, uh, that's, that's how I'm, what I'm saying. He, he went out of his way to make sure he stayed in front of Vince all the time. And there'd be, I, there's not a day went by that. I didn't talk to Vince phone, Texas or meetings. But, uh, I never went out of my way to, Hey Vince, guess what I did today. Right. You'd be so proud of me. Well, uh, first of all, Vince ain't proud of shit. <laughs> yeah. He's just not. Right. It's not a big knock. It's just the way that he is. Right. And, uh, Lauren, I just uh, played that up and I, I don't know. I, I just, it was a bad time for me personally. And it was sad to see what I tried to help build become what it was, but I was sure as hell happy that triple H finally got involved and it's made a massive difference in, uh, the NXT brand before that Florida championship wrestling. I used to go down there all the time when I got taken out of the position of being in charge, 
I didn't quit working. I'm going on the road. And I'm going to try to help these guys. I'm going to try to be there to help the promoters, Steve Kern in Florida, you know, and the Cornette and, and Danny and, in, in Louisville, things of that nature. So I was on the road a lot and, and enjoyed the heck out of it. Just really did enjoy it, it a lot, especially going to Florida. It was cool. The weather was always nice. <clears throat> as far as sitting right now. And, uh, it was just cool. I, my, I didn't lose touch with my creation. 